Hey, I'm David Bruce Realty here in the greater Los Angeles area. And today I had a client ask me, when's the best time to sell my house? So I decided I'd make this quick video to illustrate how the real estate market and cycles work uh, typically here in Los Angeles. And generally speaking, they follow the same trend elsewhere. So um, if you like what you see, please hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of new content. And I'll get into it right away for you guys. All right, here we go. But let's look at this chart real quick. And these are the number of homes for sale in the entire MLS of Los Angeles. You'll see that basically we peak during the summer, we trough down at the near Christmas, Hanukkah and the holidays, and it's pretty consistent. This time we didn't so much, but this time we did. Let's just look at the, I'm gonna pick one data point where we're just kind of compare what's going on. This right here, May 29, uh, 2019, over 100,000 uh, homes for sale. Now let's find that May 19, where is it? Uh, May 19, only 27, almost 28,000 homes sold. So it's like 28% of what was on the market at that time. And so not every home that gets listed sells the first time um, for obvious reasons, but let's look at the uh, month supply as well. This is what's really fascinating to me. Month supply is um, basically how many months it would take in order for us to be able to sell all the inventory that was on the market. And Again, you'll see a peak in month supply because there's less inventory uh, here in the, um, let's see, there's December, December, I'm sure this one will be December too, yep, December, excuse me, whoa, look at that. Uh, December down here, month supply of inventory is uh, 3.9, so that means it's a much hotter market than it was previously. But this is what's interesting to me right now, is this is May right now, and we, had a nice peak in April, which is unusual, but now it's dropped. And I think that's because of coronavirus and what's going on with uh, less and less people listing their homes. So let's look at the number of new listings that are going on the market. Again, these troughs are the end of the are, are the uh, end of the year when people aren't as active in the real estate market. And then this one right here is interesting because it's super low. It's April 2020, and we all know why that is. So basically, uh, March was when um, the uh, shelter in place went into effect here in Los Angeles. I think it was the 13th, it was a Friday. Was it Friday the 13th? But um, this is directly due to coronavirus, I guarantee it, because it looks like we're coming back up a little bit for May. Hopefully we'll see more, more places come on the market in June and July. Uh, the trend is going up, which is good for a buyer who wants more inventory to be able to go through. Not necessarily great for a seller because it puts more competition on the market and there's a limited number of buyers that are out there qualified, ready to buy. Uh, lending, lending is getting tighter. Uh, so it's a, a very interesting uh, dynamic to look at. Now let's just look at this again real quick. You'll see if I change, uh, I'm just gonna look at uh, closed sales for now, right? These are the number of closed sales. This is single family, notice the pattern. These are condos, same pattern. Income property, much different. Um, but like, like, look here, right? This is this baseline right here is 500 units. In condos, this baseline in here is about 3,500 units. Single family, I would say the baseline is probably somewhere around here in 13,000. Um, but all properties in the entire MLS uh, follow the same pattern. Now let's do this. Let's look at. Uh, just Los Angeles County alone. Same pattern. So and this is, a, and again, this is a five year spread. This is the entire MLS. This is LA County. So there's less um, properties overall because obviously the MLS covers a lot of, of different counties. But again, you'll see the same pattern up and down or um, that, that's following the, the greater Los Angeles MLS area. Days on market, same thing. Month supply, same thing. This one jumped quite a bit here. So the entire MLS is four months of supply, but LA is six. So that's kind of an interesting uh, data point too. So if you want to look into your particular area, your city, where you're looking and all that, I can show you the data points on this. 
gives you a good idea of the ebb and flow of the real estate market and when you might want to think about strategizing uh, to list your property for sale or get into the market as a buyer. So I'm David Bruce. Thanks for watching and take care. Be safe. Be well.